Friends, this video is an expression of gratitude for Appasami Associates. We the ophthalmologists of India are so grateful to Appasami Associates, the company that started with a cry machine. In course of time, Appasami came to our doors with all ophthalmic equipments at affordable prices. And whenever a budding ophthalmologist ventured into private practice, Appasami supported him or her any equipment without any down payment and relieved the eye doctor from taking bank loan and bearing the load of huge interests. I am happy to share Swiss Fove intraocular lens in this video. By this time, the main incision has been made and the anterior capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye. And now, the anterior chamber is being filled up with viscoelastic substance. In this case, it is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now, capsulorexis is being done with the help of a uh, iterata forceps. Just pierce the center of the capsule, raise a capsular tag, and guide this tag all around to get an adequate sized rexis. And now, hydrodissection is done with BSAs and 27 gauze cannula. The lens mass is separated from the capsule. And now is the time to fill up the chamber again with visco and introduce the phaco needle. The phaco needle goes with its bevel down. Some superficial lens matter is removed. And now, let us observe direct job. Turn the handpiece, make the bevel off, bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus, hold the nuclear mass very firmly and job. Rotate the lens 90 degree and chop again. And this free nuclear fragment is emulsified. Ultrasonic energy being used is 70%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Towards the end of the surgery, we decrease the, towards the end of the nucleus management, we decrease the vacuum and flow rate. Vacuum is 300 and flow rate is 30. And now, this is epinuclear plate. And we have to be very careful at this time. Any time we can catch the posterior capsule and make a rent at this time. I came out, didn't dare to remove the epinucleus with the handpiece, injected some visco and use a very friendly instrument, a Simco cannula, 23 gauze Simco cannula from Apasami Associates. And now, the side port is small, so I am going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of this cortex. And now, I am going to use visco 
for implantation of this intraocular lens. Fill up the capsular bag as well as the anterior chamber with visco and now let us see the lens. This is Swiss Fove from Apasami Associates. The lens is thoroughly washed. It is placed in the cartridge and this cartridge has been made by Apasami Associates and it is specially designed for this lens. Both the haptics are on the upper surface of the lens. It is placed on a disposable injector and here it goes. Now, I tried to implant the lens without enlarging the main wound. But I find that I have to do wound assisted delivery which I usually do not like because sometimes the wound gets stressed so much and fish mouthing occurs and wound may lick. So, better I enlarge the wound a bit and implant the lens. And the lens goes in the capsular bag. The lens is oriented in such a way that I can go under the lens and irrigate the capsular bag to remove the visco that is trapped between the lens and the posterior capsule. This is irrigation of the anterior chamber. Now I go behind the lens and irrigate the capsular bag. A lot of visco molecules come out by these maneuvers. I use, I spend a significant amount of time for cleaning of visco. This is not the end of visco cleaning. I am going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration also for visco cleaning. going behind the intraocular lens, irrigating the capsular bag and aspirating from above the lens. Some more irrigation and aspiration of the anterior chamber and the anterior chamber is crystal clear. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now, I hydrate the corneal stroma and close the side port and then this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is thoroughly lavaged, anterior chamber is formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope all of us are grateful to Upper Sami Associates and let us not forget that we must support our own Indian company, the Apasami Associates.